Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought we'd play with some new products from the Tim Holtz line. I'm excited to be using the alcohol pearl inks, which I have not used before, so I thought I'd do a little video using them. We're going to do a really simple technique with them, and hopefully in the future I'll be putting out some more videos using these products. We're also going to use a new die set that he has out. And I'm going to be making a set of four uh, greeting cards. I thought it would be a nice gift for a friend. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off using the Upo paper, which is a paper that is, comes in sheets, 5 by 7 sheets, and is perfect for the alcohol inks. And then we're going to be using the mini applicator, the felt applicators, and placing those on our uh, wooden applicators. And then we're also going to be using the blending solution. So to get started, I'm going to start with these three colors of the pearls. And you do want to make sure you shake these up really well. We're going to be using Villainous, Intrigue, and Enchanted. And I just love the names. Just so much more fun with these names. So I've attached the felt applicator tip to the bottom of the uh, Tim Holtz applicator tool. We're just going to put the three colors, and then I'm going to put a little bit of that blending solution right over the top of those. And then kind of like in a dabbing, kind of like a little bit of a twisting motion, I'm going to apply that ink all over. And you'll see as I start to apply it, these just start to blend together, and you kind of get this little like, uh, almost like these little droplet effects, and that's from the blending solution. And you can see how beautiful that is. And it does have this beautiful pearl uh, look to it, which is kind of hard to see on camera. Now here I'm just adding a little bit more of that darker pink and just kind of blotting it on again. And you can kind of see as I came back around with the second application, I got even more of those little, those little uh, spots, which I love. I just think that adds so much texture. So now I'm coming in with a little bit more of that purpley color and the kind of orangey peachy color and I'm just going to do the same thing, just kind of pounce that on all the way around. Now you can do this as much as you want. You can keep coming back in over with your inks or adding more blending solution like I'm doing here. Just keep working it until you get the look that you want. Now with these uh, applicators, you can also do like a swiping motion. Um, you can do like a zigzaggy motion. You could do almost anything you want, create like a rainbow effect. Um, but here, for the purpose of the cards that I'm making today, I decided to use this technique on all four of my uh, pieces of paper here. So now on this second one, I'm going to be using the color Splendor, Alchemy, and deception. And I'm just blending these with the blending solution again, and then I'm just going to pounce those on as well. And I have to say, this turned out to be one of my favorite colors. This one in kind of the lime green combination that we'll be doing in a little while, which surprised me because I'm really a pastel person. I love pink, obviously, and I love all the pastels. But in this case, with uh, these cards that I was making, these bright, vibrant colors were just absolutely gorgeous. Now here again, you can kind of see that pearly effect. I decided to go back in a little bit more with that darker color, just to give it a little bit more definition, and pounce that on as well. I'm just kind of going up and down. I'm not using that twisty motion here. And you can see again, you get this beautiful effect. So now for this third piece, I'm going to be using Alchemy, Tranquil, and Sublime. Again, I'm applying all three of these. And you can see that a little bit of this ink goes a long way. I mean, I'm just using like a couple of drops here. And I thought this combination was absolutely gorgeous. Like I say, this one and that orangey uh, one kind of turned out to be my favorites. And I'm just blotting it on, just pouncing it on and adding a little bit more of that blue color. Now you could do whole sheets of these and then just save the rest for another project. 
sometimes it's easier if you have it out, just do a whole bunch of backgrounds at the same time. Now for this last one, I'm going to be using Villainous, Tranquil, and Enchanted. Yeah, and if you want to just make a whole bunch of these, you can put them in. I put them in a Ziploc baggie, and I keep them in my little file drawer, and then they're ready, and I can just pull them out when I'm working on a project, and I don't have to take the time to do uh, a set of these. So it's a, And it's also fun just to sit and play with these. Um, if you are interested in me doing more with the alcohol inks, please just leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'd like to do some more with them, so let me know if you're interested in that. And also, all these products and all the names will be listed below as well. So if there's anything here you're interested in, just check below here and you'll get a listing of those products. So here you can see how absolutely gorgeous these are, and you can kind of see that pearlized effect. In person, it, it is a little bit more... Uh, I don't know, it's more beautiful in person, but you can get the idea here. So now I'm going to cut some uh, black panels, and I need four of these. So I'm just cutting these down to four by five and a quarter. And these are going to fit right on my, the cards that we're doing. So again, I'm making a, a little note set of cards for a friend, and I'm going to make four of them. And I've got, I use my Tim Holtz paper trimmer here to cut everything down. Now this is the die set and this is absolutely beautiful. This is from Tim Holtz Sizzix Thinlets and it cuts out the negative space and it's called the Cutout Blossoms. And you'll see here, I'm going to line these up down at the bottom left hand corner of each of these black panels. I'm putting a little bit of purple tape on there just to hold them in place till I get them over to my die cutting machine. And I'm going to use, there's three flowers in the set and I'm going to repeat one of them so that I end up with four cards all together. And I know it's hard to see what they look like here but once they're die cut you'll see how beautiful these are. Now I did use 100 pound black cardstock and I wanted to show you that I ran it through a few times just to make sure that all these little pieces got cut out. I'm using my pick tool and just popping out those little extra pieces and you can see how absolutely gorgeous these flowers are. So again, you're cutting out the negative space on these flowers. And those two are exactly the same. So now I'm going to uh, cut my cards. And I'm going to make a standard A2 size card. So I took 100 pound weight white cardstock and cut it in half. And now I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And I'm using my We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard. So I'm going to go ahead and score all four of my cards. And then once I have that done, I'm just going to fold these in half. And I am going to use my Teflon bone folder to press out the crease on these. Uh, it just is a little bit smoother to press out the crease on this heavyweight cardstock. So I'm going to use that. And I will list below which bone folder that is. And then once I had that done, I noticed that on a couple of these, my, uh, my card didn't line up perfectly. So... I decided to just put it in my Tim Holtz trimmer and cut away that excess. And I know I've said this before, but this is the reason I bought this trimmer, is because it will cut away that little sliver of paper, which I know some of my other trimmers just won't do. I'll get kind of like a raggedy edge. So I'm just going to cut these little panels down to, it's about three and a half by three and a half, I'd say. Just a square that's going to fit behind the opening of our flowers that we're cutting out. So I'm just going to get all four of those set, and I am going to keep the little pieces that I'm cutting away from here. We're going to need those as well, so hang on to those. So now you can see I have the four of those ready to go. Now I'm going to take the metallic stickers. These are the quotations from Tim Holtz, and you can see all these great little sentiments that you have. And I'm just going to grab a couple of different ones here for the cards. They come in black with gold letters, black with silver letters, white with gold, and white with silver. We're just going to use the two black ones for this project. So the first one I'm going to grab here is the black with gold for this kind of orangey background. And this one says, hello friend. 
I did end up selecting uh, sentiments that were all about the same length, just because I wanted the cards to look a little bit more uniform, but that's not necessary. You can select whatever ones you like the best. Now, I just decided to use my trimmer to cut these down, but afterwards you'll see that I switched over to my scissors because this was just taking a little longer than I wanted it to. But uh, I've got that one ready, and now I'm just going to glue it down on a piece of scrap white paper. This is a 100-pound scrap paper. And I'm using my multi-medium matte glue from Ranger, and I'm just going to attach these two together. And I'm leaving that little, about, a, about the same size border around the white as I did with the, uh, the alcohol ink background. And then I cut that to size. And now you can see that that beautiful paper is going to sit right behind that flower there that we cut out. And now I'm just going to take some glue and put it all around the back of this. I did end up switching the glue here to my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. Um, because I was running out of the other one and so I switched over to this and it, it was getting kind of in those little detailed areas a little bit easier for me. So you can go ahead now and attach that panel. And this is just magical I think. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this whole concept of just cutting out the negative space. So now I'm going to Pop, I decided to pop up this entire panel. So I'm using my Tim Holtz tonic scissors to cut down my uh, scotch foam mounting tape. And I like to cut my tape down into small little sections. Uh, it's just a little more economical and I can stretch it a little bit further. I'm using the one inch uh, tape, but you can use any tape that you have and just cut it to size. You just want to make sure you put enough on the background so that it doesn't collapse anywhere when it's going through the mail. So now I have that and I'm just going to pop that little sentiment up in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to do this exact same way for each of these cards. So I'm putting some foam mounting tape along the back of each of these little panels here and then I'm going to uh, glue that down. And this, I just love that contrast between the black and the alcohol inks. And again, in person, that pearl is just beautiful. So now for this next one, there is that pop of lime green. Oh, I just think that's gorgeous. So I'm going to do this one the same exact way. And on this one, I used the sentiment uh, the black with the uh, gold again, and I used the sentiment that says beautiful day. So I kind of wanted these uh, sentiments on these cards to be for somebody uh, to use in any way they want to because it is just a little note card set. So uh, I tried to pick things that were semi generic. Um, so now I have that one and I'm going to pop that onto a piece of white cardstock just like we did before. Leaving a little bit of a border all the way around. And then I'm just trimming that down. So again, we're adding our foam mounting tape, just kind of centering that on the card here. And again, I just think that color combination is absolutely stunning. So that's the second one. And then I went ahead and did the exact same thing here. For this one, I used the black with silver lettering and it says, hello there. And then for this last one, I used the black with silver and it says make a wish. So I think when you're making these sets of note cards for someone, it's kind of uh, much easier if you just make them all pretty much the same. 
just changing out the colors or changing something simple. Then you don't have to keep redesigning the card. So now I'm using my Nouveau Crystal Drops. And the color I'm using here is called Sweet Lilac. And then for this next one, I'm using Apple Green. And I'm just adding a few dots here and there. But again, keeping it kind of consistent on each one where I place the drops. On this one, I'm going to be using the Gloss White. And on this last one, I'm using the Dandelion Yellow. So now you can see how beautiful that is with that beautiful background. You can see all kind of like those little bubblies and the pearlescence of the alcohol inks. And I just think these are fun. I love, I, I again, I want to use these inks again and again. I just think they're gorgeous. And there's so much more we can do with them. You can kind of see the pearl there a little bit better. So here we have all four of the cards that we created. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you so much for visiting, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.